Well, South African model and actor Ezra Mabenza, uh, no, Mabengeza, I beg yes. your pardon, and the star of the Oscar-nominated Best Foreign Language Film, So the Winter to My Skin, was recently invited to the Palm Spring Film Festival. So the Winter to My Skin tells a racially charged and a very violent story set in the 1950s in rural South Africa. The Port Elizabeth-born model has recently received his first award, and that was for Best Male Performance at the recent Africa International Film Festival's Afrif Globe Awards that was held in Nigeria. Ezra is in studio with us now to talk about the movie So the Winter to My Skin. Good to have you in studio. Good Welcome. Good morning, man. Um, I'm a huge respecter of your work, so uh, I'm happy to be you. here. Well, most know. importantly, congratulations for winning this award. Thank you. This is, you. is absolutely fantastic, and it must be testimony to what a brilliant movie you've just worked on. Well, I mean, I think before we get into it, I definitely want to give thanks to my agent, uh, Liesl Trout, you know, without, who hasn't failed me, I wouldn't be here without her. Um, I want to give thanks to my um, management, CSA Global. Um, they put this together. Yeah. And then, of course, my director, Jamil Kubeka, and my producer, Leila Swart, casting crew who just came together to make this happen. So yeah. big ups to everybody. It takes a village to make this a big Absolutely. success. Absolutely. And my parents, grandparents. Yeah, everybody. Yes. Okay, anyone that's crossed your path at this point. Absolutely. Because it, 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 it's a big deal. It's not a small deal. I mean, this was the official entry for South Africa to the to the Oscars. It didn't get the nod, but yeah. that, that really doesn't matter because the accolades that it's receiving, I mean, mm -hmm. it's opened at Toronto. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about some of the reactions and responses to the film. Um, I mean, first of all, my, uh, my first reaction was, you know, I, I hadn't seen anything until we opened it in Toronto. Um, and I generally don't like seeing myself <laughs> on anything. Um, but when I saw it, I was just like, wow, we actually did something that I've never seen um, as far as my idea of film and, um, and just, just the moments of everything happening and just being there, just, I was blown away. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and then the reaction of people just kind of overwhelmed me, to be honest. Um, you know, it's like there was this whole new thing that I was entering, which was just like, wow, people were just really embracing it and asking really intelligent questions and they got the movie and the most incredible reaction was like, I have to see it again. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's what you really want from Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the storyline. I mean, I just uh, alluded to it. Set in the 1950s in rural South Africa, racially charged, violent movie. But what's the storyline? Um, it's just, you know, it's just about a man, Mbinga, um, also blessings to the Mbinga clan, Senzwa, um, and, and his, you know, just desire to, to not be subjugated. Um, essentially, and just like, hey, I'm, my name's John Kepe, and I'm living my life, and I'm going to live it the way I want to live it. Um, and uh, so he becomes a kind of a folk hero, you know, because he's just a man who's just resisting, uh, not, not necessarily overtly. He's just, hey, I'm doing this. Mm. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what the story is about, and then his, his journey, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For you, working on this movie, and I suppose more importantly, working with the director on this. Um, yeah. Jamil is not, not one to shy away from controversy. He's been uh, in, in hot water before, but I mean, working with him, working on the story, what was it like personally? I mean, he's a man, full stop. Mm. I'm a man, yeah. you know, um, and we, we, we understood that, you know, there's something bigger than us here. And we're either going to recognize that and respect each other and come together and, and, and create something, you know, or we're not going to do that. What's the point of doing that, right? Um, 
it's leadership, you know, he's a leader, yeah. you know, um, and he's passionate, I'm passionate, he's aggressive, I'm aggressive, um, he, he wants to get, get it, I want to get it, mm. um, and that's what happened, and everybody on set, like, got, got it, you know, it started at the top, we've got something bigger than us, you know, we've got a nation here, let's build it, yeah. and let's do the work, and the results are going to come, so it was, it, it, it was exceptional. It's just incredible in terms of <clears throat> the standard of South African movies and how they're getting this much-deserved attention on a global platform. You're competing with the best in mm -hmm. the world. You're on that level. Mm -hmm. uh, the acting, the directing, the everything, editing, mm -hmm. you name it, mm -hmm. it is up there. Mm -hmm. And yet we're playing with budgets that look like this exactly. and the other movies are like exactly. that. So, exactly. I mean, this is a double, massive pat on the yeah. back. You've been to Palm Springs. You're about to go to Los Angeles now for the Pan-African Film Festival. Yes, what, what, what is the hope when you go to these festivals? What do you, as an actor, hope? Is it that you will land other bigger roles or is it more to just sort of also take this movie and make it as big as you can? Um, I mean, my biggest hope is, is to maintain authenticity. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. As long as I continue to follow my calling, everything else will take care of itself. What so I trust calling? the bigger forces at work, yeah. right? Um, so I've just got to show up prepared, you know, having studied, um, I mean, the, the training that I did for this film took me two years. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I shut myself off from, you know, the usual pleasures of a young man, you know, um, and just said, hey, you know, I've got to do this this way and I've got to trust the process. And then I also had to speak to the clan, mm. being a people and say, please, you know, I appreciate that you chose me to do this. What do you require of me? You know, and it was cleanliness. Yeah. Just be clean and be honest and be sincere and commit and, and you surrender. Took this, you took this role very seriously, Absolutely. which, is, which, which it shows. And I mean, I think that that's what you have to do as an Absolutely. actor, live the path. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you don't have to. We all have choices. You know what I mean? I but chose to. But that makes to. the difference. Yeah. You walked away with the best actor and the film is where it's at because of these sacrifices. So we yeah. have to respect you for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, Obviously, this has been shown. We've spoken about it to international audiences. We're waiting as a local audience to see it. Starts on Friday, right? Absolutely. That's the big opening. You know, yes. Please go see it. You know, and um, it's going to change your life. Yeah. It's just that simple. It's that powerful. Yeah, the work has been done. You know, it's forever now. Yeah. Yeah. Where will you be for the opening? Um, I probably will be in PE holding my mother and father's hands. Oh, you know? man, yeah. that's your hometown. I mean, that's, that's the dream. You yeah. Know? Yeah. We're going to, they, they're basically making it happen. So yeah. that's just going to be unbelievable. Like watching my mother and father who never missed a single one of my plays. Mm. Right. Like I remember in 86 riots are going on, you know, state of emergency, my mother driving to my school and I'm opening the curtains before my play begins and she walks in yeah. and I'm just like, she could get, she could have got shot. You know, I mean, our, our car wasn't necessarily hundred percent, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she's a single mom, you know? And, um, I never forget these things. I never forget my dad just looking at me on stage and just like, you know, so I knew drama was my calling. Yeah. Yeah. And you heard it loud and clear. Yes, ma'am. What a pleasure, Ezra. What a pleasure having Thank you in the studio Leanne. here. What a pleasure. Good luck yes. with your travels and, and all the promotions of the film. And on Friday, get out there, please. I, I, I definitely want to see this movie. Thank Ezra Babangezo talking to us about this new movie that's about to hit the circuit. Uh, it's called So the Winter to My Skin. And as you heard Ezra saying, once you've seen it, you'll walk out a changed person. So i got to go and see it for myself. Good luck and thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. All right, let's take a break. We say goodbye to you after this. Stay tuned.